Welcome to Australasian Bus and Coach TV. And this is the new acquisition for New South Wales based operator Australia Wide Coaches. It's a 13.5 metre Irizar i6 on a Scania K480 chassis. The i6 is the successor to the Irizar Century and has several significant newer features. Meanwhile, the 13 litre Scania puts out an impressive 2500 newton metres of torque through a 12 speed automated manual transmission. This coach joined 17 others at Australia Wide's depots in Sydney and Orange. The company has several operations, including charter work and a Sydney franchise for Grey Line. Australia Wide's owner is well known coach industry identity, Richard Dawes. This is my seventh Eurozone and we, we have a pretty regular um, fleet rotation at Australia Wide. Uh, we, for our market, we, we have a, a pretty niche market that we look after and we, we required uh, top of the line vehicles to be part of that operation. All our large coach fleet is predominantly Scania. Um, you know, 95% of the fleet is now Scania. Um, most of them are all on a repair and maintenance contract. 480 horsepower, this is our third 480 in the fleet and it's just wonderful from a, from a point of view of going up and down hills and maintaining that 100 kilometres an hour when you've got a full group of you know, touring people on board and luggage and, and so on, so there's nothing quite like it. Any negatives so far? It's a little bit too early to know yet, um, but um, look, I drove this one up from Melbourne when we, took initi when we initially took delivery of it, and it was just a delight. As you can see, the i6 is a smoothly aerodynamic coach, but its side panels also lift up for easy access, and they can lift off for easy replacement. Explaining more about the i6 is sales manager for Irizar Asia Pacific, Paul Weller. With the i6 we've designed a new interior uh, to make it look more modern, more spacious, more comfortable for the passengers. We have a new multiplex system um, with, that includes a, a lot less wiring, everything can go through the single multiplex node, um, which includes a new touch screen and driver's console area. All throughout the front of the vehicle we have a stronger frame section that's designed for front impact. Um, it's designed to take the load to the front axle so the front axle collapses, raising the driver and the passengers away from the incident. And rollover? With rollover, we already comply to the future European safety regulations. We have two very strong rollover rings on the vehicle, one at the front and one at the rear. Now there seems to be one key thing missing and that's a toilet. I can't see it up the back. <laughs> there is a toilet in here. It's actually sunken down um, in, towards the stairs in the middle of the vehicle next to the centre door. Richard Dawes says that this coach out on the highway, quote, gets up and boogies. But unfortunately we weren't able to give it a burl on the open road because it had to come up here to the Gold Coast to the Australasia Bus and Coach Conference and Expo. Uh, but we can tell you that it was an absolute pleasure to drive around Sydney uh, with features including the uh, steerable tag axle at the back, which makes this long bus quite manoeuvrable. Uh, the Scania retarder to the right of the steering wheel, which means you hardly have to touch the brakes. and the quite remarkable quietness both inside and outside. But to me the standout feature of this whole unit is something that Scania is offering in Australia for the first time and that is adaptive cruise control which maintains a safe distance between you and the vehicle in front. Now you combine that with Irizar's advanced frontal crash and rollover protection and you've got a, a very safe bus. So all up in terms of performance, comfort and safety Surely this chassis and body combined set some sort of standard for coaches in Australia.